Question number nine. It's always God's will that we remain sexually pure. From which verse in Thessalonians, uh, from in Thessalonians, do we learn this? I often say that there are verses that we must know the reference for. And this is one subject for which we must know the reference for. Because it concerns our being. It concerns what we battle with on a regular basis in this sin-toxic, sex-toxic world. Okay, I will give you another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, first Thessalonians 4 3 this. Okay. It's God's will that you should be sanctified, says the NIV 2011, that you should avoid sexual immorality. So we must be sanctified. That's the first thing. Sanctified involves all aspects of our life. Uh, okay. But then specific to that, subset of that is especially in the area of sexual purity. And uh, God has called our ministry to emphasize this as we sp keep speaking, communicating this to the Google generation. So uh, by the grace of God, by the enablement of God, you know, what I will say in the next 30 seconds or 40 seconds, I have explained in sessions of one hour, uh, two hours or three hours to countless young people across denominations in this great nation and even in other nations, in, in UAE, in Bangladesh, in Singapore, in Germany. Okay, what, what's that? Okay, we must be sexually pure, which means we avoid sexual sin. What is sexual sin? Filthy thoughts, Matthew 5, 28. What is, what is sexual sin? Falling in love with an unbeliever, 1 Corinthians 7, 39. Romantic link up with an unbeliever, 1 Corinthians 7, 39. What is sexual sin? Watching porn, 2 Samuel 11, 27. What is sexual sin? Allowing the person of the opposite sex to touch you intimately, Ezekiel 23. What is sexual sin? Uh, what is sexual sin? Uh, actual sex outside of marriage, Genesis 39, 9. What is sexual sin? Homosexuality, Romans 1, Jude 1. You know, read the entire chapters. No, I, I just, in 30, 40 seconds, I... I, I summarize what I would spend entire hour, sometimes two hours, with uh, replete with illustrations, because this is in line with God's word. It may not be God's will that all of us will settle down in America. It may not be God's will that all of us will drive a, a Mercedes Benz or a, a swung car. But it is his will that we will be sexually pure, you know, after we become believers in Jesus Christ. Sexually pure life will not give us a place in heaven, but that is a life that we live out of gratitude because God has saved us by grace. In Out of gratitude, we live a holy life. And it's an, and, and that's something that we must do. It's God's will that we remain sexually pure. So uh, even as we are playing this quiz, if any one of us are in any kind of sexual sin, uh, you can just take a second, take a few seconds to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from every sin. Uh, your sin may be unprintable, but my sin may be unprintable. Our sin may be unprintable, but the blood of Jesus can cleanse us from every sin. Not only that, give us power to remain, help us remain holy. God willing, this uh, coming Sunday, I speak in a church in Gurugram near Delhi, and I will be talking about how the power of, how the blood of Jesus helps us to overcome temptation. So not only the blood of Jesus cleanses us from sin, but gives us the power to remain holy, have victory over sexual sin. All right. Uh, Mahima Bindu, Kevin, Renuka, Jaziel Moose, back to the top five. Now, uh, Naomi Christina, uh, Sean making a comeback in three in a row. Okay. <laughs>